Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Forgotten Friends Friday. We will get to all that in a minute. Oh gosh, I don't have my book. Let's say hi and hugs first though. Hi and hugs to Anita, Deb, Karen, and Joanne. Thank you so much for your kind comments, for your watching the videos. I so appreciate it. I really do, you guys. I This has been a blessing in my life, more for me than you. <laughs> and I just so appreciate you all. Okay, well, if you saw my little um, show and tell of the things I got at the vintage market, one of the things was vintage envelopes here. And I have, I have a basket of vintage envelopes. And I thought we would get some, um, get some ephemera ready to go with those. Excuse me, I'm going <coughs> to... Oh, I'm going to sneeze is what I was about to say. Um, this one looks really interesting. Look at that. Now, I want my piece of paper here because I'll check and see, you know, if they'll fit this way on a page. Most of them probably won't. I mean, you can always go sideways like that. The way this is... The way this is, I was thinking about maybe a, a flip. Let's let's experiment. So yeah, I'm just gonna play with these vintage envelopes a little bit. This is really, really fragile. So I would have to reinforce this and back them but it's so cool I think it's worth the trouble don't you okay so let's get some how about some um, washi that is stamps that might be a good thing for this okay so hope you're all doing well I just came in from Working in my yard. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> the um, We have on the one side of our deck, I'll show you when I show you the final deck, or, you know, when I do a video for that, but um, the one side is a rock wall, not quite as tall as I am, but pretty close, and it gets full of pine needles. So I was pulling those out of there and oh my gosh, just kills my back and my knees. <laughs> but I would say I'm about a third of the way done. So that feels good. Oh gosh. Okay. So now I'm going to back this with what? Um, know that I want it to be cardstock. I don't think so. I think I'm just going to use a piece of coffee dyed paper. And I'm not going to go all the way to the spine. I'm going to go part of the way. Anyway, if you find some vintage envelopes, along your travels. I wanted you to know how I kind of play with them. Just kind of let them tell you what they want to be. I think some of that is going to show like where, where the envelope is torn and stuff. Now I should be able to just go ahead and pull this on my way. Yeah, I don't. Well, I saw on the news that it's supposed to be a very tough allergy season this year. 
we don't have anything blooming per se here, but man, do I ever sneeze and have all sorts of <laughs> issues when I come in. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm thinking about... I want the one side to be, or both sides to be pockets. I don't know. Excuse me. I just had to, had to fix myself there. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm just going to, I'm going to use glue, glue stick, I think. I might be sorry because it might curl a little bit, but gonna do it anyway. Now it also is going to be it's gonna to want to stick to my table probably. Okay, so I'll turn it over. Well what I'll probably do is tear down that coffee dye there. Might not have needed to use coffee dye, probably could have just used any old paper, but okay. Okay, that's well reinforced now. Now I am going to take this and try and tear it where the envelope's torn because that looks kind of cool. Now this side I need to, first of all, I need to do this. Kind of rip torn a bit, but I like it, so I'm gonna glue that down onto itself. What I'm attempting to do anyway, and then I'm gonna tear it. There we go. Now, this just needs to be cut, it's a little long. Okay, we're all repaired. Now what? Um, I'm going to put a little art glitter glue under here. It's lifting up a little bit. Okay, so this can go like so. It could be a pocket on both sides or I could put it on one side and it could flip out I think I like the flip out idea because then we're using the coffee dyed paper aren't we and that looks kind of neat Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. So this will be a pocket. Granted, you won't see this, but that's okay. Is that okay? What do you think? Maybe I'll just leave it like this, and then I can decide when I go to use it in a piece. I'm going to do a little distressing around the edges, though. Especially where I tore it here, I think that might... I don't know, I think this is so cool, it doesn't need anything else. It's got the cool stamps on it. I'm gonna distress this side just in case I use that as a pocket. I don't know. Oh, no, if I use it as a pocket. 
Oh, yeah, if I put it around a page, then this will show. Okay, got it. Jeez. Okay, well, I'm going to call that a done piece because it's just so cool. Okay, I want to kind of look and see what I have in this basket because I really don't even know. Um, and then we'll see if something grabs us that we'd... Oh, look at this one's a... This one's like a side envelope. Oh, they just did it that way. They just did it so it could flap under there. That's cool. That could use like some decorating. It's embossed right there, which is cool. Let's leave that one out. New York Life. What do we got? <laughs> We've got an envelope in it. Annual Report 1961. Hmm, that's interesting. Got a vehicle license renewal. Lots of New York life. I think a lot of these came to me in um, happy mail back in the day when I used to accept hot happy mail. Look at this. How cool is that? Holiday in stationery. That's really cool. Branson, Missouri. Have never been there. Missouri clearing house this goes on the side Ooh, that about could be a pocket a little long but not too bad these however this little one 1907 that could be a cute little pocket on a page 1898 this one holy buckets this one 1898 too i love this one i put this one in one of my digitals oh cool i'm discovering right along with you because i haven't looked at this 1909 one that would be kind of a cool pocket just or a tuck even to where you could tuck something behind it let's do something with that one you know I'm gonna find more well so this is to this leveret s ropes in Ontario Canada this one is L.S. Ropes Bozeman. There was one here, L.S. Ropes Murphy, North Carolina. Well, S.L. Ropes got around. <laughs> Here's another North Carolina. Jardine, Montana. My goodness. Park County, Montana. All the same person. Oh, there's a Helena, Montana, and that is the perfect pocket. Whoa. Okay. Some more ropes. Franklin, North Carolina. Jardine, Montana. Bozeman, Montana. Murphy, North Carolina. <laughs> okay. Got a bunch of him. I must have got him at a... Tell me, did somebody send that to me? I don't think, I, there's so many. I think I must have got it at a estate sale. Ooh, there's another perfect pocket. Mm-hmm. And this one's kind of got a green color to it. That's cool. Let's see what else we have here. Boy Scouts of America. Missouri Clearing House with that fit on a page. It'd be kind of cool in a um, 
grungy journal sticking out from the page, wouldn't it? I'm going to keep that one out. Okay. I know I have some that I bought from um, the snippet shop on Etsy. That These ones that are from somewhere else. Okay. That's so fun. Okay, let's just take a quick look at what else we have. Yeah, these are from her. Oh, it's just a tiny bit too big for a page. Be so cool, though. Could we count that as a tab? Kind of put some sort of decorative something there? We probably could. I'm going to keep that one out. I have more than I can do here, but just wanted to look through and see this is a batch that I got from her because they're from Switzerland. Okay, so here's one I bought on Etsy too. Look at this one. Isn't that cool? That's super cool. It even looks like a, a tab on the back, kind of. Okay, we'll keep that one out too. Okay, Gail, put these in the basket. Now, are my new ones going to fit in the basket? I feel like I should do something with one of them too. There's another New York Life. New York Life must have sent out a lot of stuff. That's cool because it's got the... Um, window but I think we have enough to play with so let's do it all right oh my goodness you guys I'm starting to stiffen up oh that was quite the quite the workout let's see where's my little guy there he is Edward D. Phelan in Helena Montana 1907 I mean you can tell it's old because there's no address it's just Helena. No zip code. It's care of county attorney's office. See, something could go there. Um, we could use a flower sticker. We could use a little cluster. Let me see if any of my little clusters would work. Got to find my find my right little book. Is that it? Nope. There it is. I love having these. They're so fun to have behind my. No, I'm feeling like these are going to be a bit big. Big, big. Okay. So, you know what might be kind of cool is, oops, things falling. Uh, who did I watch? Was it you, Darcy, that says craft a lounge? <laughs> I was thinking about a gentleman. A uh, Tim Holtz gentleman, like this gentleman. Could he fit in the corner? Covers up the mister. Maybe I could cut him down. I think I'm going to try. I'm just going to see. I might waste a Tim Holtz person, but... Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm just hurting. <laughs> moan and groan. She's moaning and groaning today. No kidding. Oh, it's so awkward because the deck that they built isn't the same footprint as the old one. So it's less. So, um, and there's river rock on that side. And so I slide on the river rock and I'm bent over leaning against the rocks trying to 
pull out the, um, maybe this will look like it's just on the edge of the page. Um, yeah, I'm leaning against the rock trying to pull out the needles. Ooh, I kind of like that. Or do I want him down a little? Kind of like him down a little. Might like a little book page behind him. So, I know I have some, I know I have some bits in here. Bitty bits. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then I'll use some vintage tape. Faux vintage tape. Okay. Not sure, mister, which journal you're gonna go into, but you're gonna be ready, Mr. Edward D. Phelan. Could be Phelan, I'm not sure. Nineteen oh seven. That's so crazy. That's two years before the college that I worked at was built. Isn't that nuts? Yeah. I think I'll. I usually use art glitter glue on the Tim Holtz stuff because it's card stocky and shiny. Okay. You, sir, are going right there. Maybe up a little bit. Okay. Going right there. Sir. And then... Then... I think I'll put, ooh, I think I want this tape. This one was from, is this from you, Emily? I think maybe Emily at um, Vintage Polka Dot. It's a little darker. I think it'll be good. And then I'm going to put one up there. Maybe not that much. Maybe about that much. I keep every itty bitty bit of this because you never know where you can use it. Okay. Cool. So, when you put that on the page, I'll put it on so it's a pocket up here, but then you can also use the envelope. So, that'll be fun. That's a fun piece. I'm excited about that, too. Okay, what else can we, what other trouble can we get into today? Um... I think this one, I'm still going to do that as a pocket. It's closed and everything, but I think I'm going to put a mushroom there. I think that would be a cool fall colored one. Oh, I lied. It's open on this side. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to kind of fall this one up a little bit. If I can find a mushroom that will fit nicely there. Let's see.
Let's see what we've got. See, I kind of wish this was the other way around. The big one there and the little one there. I maybe could make that happen, couldn't I? Sorry, I got it right up to my face to cut it. This is just what I was thinking, and it was right on top. So I could put that like that, but do I want like a little bit of book page or something under it, or do I want it just like that? I do like that. I think I, the the um, patina of this envelope is so cool that I think I'm just going to leave it show through and just put these down. And then when I put it on the page, since it's going to hang over just a little bit on the edge, I might on the on the opposite side from this put some washi tape or something on the page. You know, we could go ahead and just do the whole page. Let's do that and just have it be a fall page ready to go in the fall. Okay. I like that. Okay, let's get a piece of paper. This one is my sample, so it's all it's all kind of goobered up and stuff. So let's use this. Now, does it look better there? Or does it look better there? It looks better there because this is the lighter side. So I'm going to put that on kind of right like that. And this is going to hang out slightly. Not a whole bunch. So that's going to be okay, I think. And it's pretty tough paper. So I think what I'll do is, ooh, grab my pencil. And make a mark where I'm going to glue. Okay. Yeah, I think what I need to do is get this basket of envelopes closer to me, and then I'll remember to use them more often, you know? Just like anything else, if it's across the room, you don't think to grab for it. Now, I am going to go as close to the edge as I can. Okay, so then this side, that's where I was thinking, do we want some washi tape or something to go down there? I think I might, just to make it a little decorative. I'm going to grab, although it really hurts to stand up. <laughs> I am going to grab this because there's some really beautiful fall colors in this. I'm looking at this one. That's just about the right width, too. So, this was um, a recent purchase at Hobby Lobby, this set of washi. I just love them. Very different colors than usual. Let me go ahead and chop that, and we'll just cut it to size once we're done. Okay. 
you're probably like, why are you doing fall, Gail? Well, fall will come. And hopefully not soon. Because <laughs> we just don't really have spring yet. Here. Okay. I think that's fine. And I'm just going to cut this side. And a little bit here because I went a little crooked. Or the envelope's crooked. I'm not sure which. Off of there. Okay. So, that's a little pocket. And a side pocket. We can, you know, put something in there. And then from this side, like in the journal, it will just look like a tab. Okay. Cool. Did that. How are we doing time-wise? I better check. What time am I supposed to be done? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. We've got lots of time. Yeah, I have to go clean myself up before the meeting because, goodness sakes, I'm, I'm disgusting. <laughs> okay, here's another Mr. Phelan. Union Bank Building. He must have worked at Oh, it's from his wife. She's in Wisconsin when she writes him this letter. 1925. Maybe she's visiting her parents or something. Okay. This one's going to be a pocket too. Yep, yep. I wish I had more this size. Um, can actually be a double pocket because it can be a pocket in there and you can make it a pocket behind. Let's just see what we can do with this. Again, I'm thinking like maybe a small, like a small flower or something. I do have some small flowers here. I'm seeing a red one. Oh, that's not small enough. Like that is what I was thinking. Maybe go sideways a little bit. I'd like something more on it, like... Some washi, maybe? Or... Ooh, that's cute, too. Actually, really like that. I could cut off just a tiny bit. I like that better. Um, but I was thinking I'd kind of like something along there. Do I want to go vintage looking tape again? I could use something decorative there though too. A decorative tape. I don't have a lot of red. A lot of pink. A lot of pink. Um, what about... Oh, gosh, she had to stand up again. Um, I was wondering about this Tim Holtz. Just a bit of it along there. I'd have to cut it. That's okay. Just about out of this. I think I like that. Um, I think I'll put it down and then cut it after. Stuck. <laughs> Stuck where I don't want it to stick. Oh, yeah. Or I can just put it, oh, Merry Christmas. 
It's an Easter Seals Merry Christmas 1925. Oh, that's cool. Let's get that off of there before we make this a pocket, don't you think? Ooh. Oh, shoot. I broke it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can fix it. Oh, it's really stuck. It's been there for nearly 100 years. <laughs> No wonder it's stuck. <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of a total loss, but I still want to try. Oh, that part's just not going to come up. Okay, well, shoot. That's okay. I guess some things just don't want to be saved. I realize I could have clipped this in or something and kept that, but... Didn't really go with the Christmas theme here. Yeah, and then I'm just going to cut that, a bit of that off. I feel like that's too much. I need something to break that up a little. I don't know what. My sweet husband's finally sitting down. He has worked all day long in the yard. Bless his heart. I'm grabbing for some tape here, guys. Hang on. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, could I put a word? I could put a word or a phrase or something. Oh, come what may, that would be nice. I'm going to say that Mr. and Mrs. Phelan, they were together, come what may. I'm going to picture him as the um, president of the bank. President of Union Bank. Okay, I think I'm going to art glitter glue this because this is slippery. It's labeled, but still. I have trust issues. Okay. Come what may, those two will be together. Lovely, lovely. Okay, so there's another pocket. So we've got four done. How are we doing? Oh my gosh, we've got 20 minutes left. We got all kinds of time. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. E. Feeling Attorney at Law. I am so confused, Edward. What were you? Were you a banker or a lawyer? Maybe you were a lawyer that banked at the Union Bank build. Oh, you were a lawyer. You were a lawyer whose office was in the Union Bank building. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. There. <laughs> Life is good. There it is. Okay, well, do I have some Christmas stuff somewhere that I could make a Christmas one? And then we'll clip this one in because of this cool this cool thing okay let me just oh I know I could use Kathy Holden Christmas one second guys oh. 
Okay. Okay. I got it. It hurt, but I got it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, Gail. That sounds good. Not to put words in your mouth or anything. Oh, this will be a fun one. Okay, and then I'm going to decorate this side too, or at least distress it anyway. Okay, what kind of cool Kathy ephemera do we have that would go on this? Maybe a sticker even, maybe not that maybe a sticker there's one that says sleigh bells to wish you a merry christmas if that was going the other way it might work okay i'm going to put some of this on the back oh there's some good ones um You know, those are those, or that. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one. The stationers. And then it will look like this came from them. Wishing him a happy Christmas. Okay, then I want something Christmassy down there. Like, I don't know what. It, my my um, label looks crooked, but it's not. The writing is crooked. <laughs> okay, there's these little things. These little circly things. Santa stamps. Twenty five December, I think it will cover something up. So Merry Christmas. Home for the holiday stamp. That could be nice. Let's see. Fit like that. Should I go sideways? Kind of just pop it on there like that. I'm going to. Okay, that's just happy. And then if we put one of these across the top of here, that would be cute. I'm thinking maybe the, um, what is that called? I can tell it's not Christmas time. Holly, the holly. Okay, that's kind of fun too. Easy peasy little Christmas pocket. Okay, so I'm not going to need these again. <laughs> um, this one was intriguing to me. It's got the little embossing there. Can I bring that out a little bit? A little bit. This one's going to have to go sideways or something. The Netherlands. Let's see where it opens. Oh, this is this one. I'm going to um I'm going to also clip this on just because it's unusual. I do like the writing there too. You could journal on the back of this one. This could even this could even go over um, over a page like that, clipped. But it needs 
some decoration. So we're going to orient it that way and do decorating that way. Do I have any scraps that could be could be fun on this? Not that. Ooh, I've got some pretty, um, what you call it, rice paper. That could be pretty. And then we could go around, oh, E, maybe, maybe I put that, maybe I put that there and I'll cut it and put some there. I don't want to wrap it around because it would cover up that writing. But that would be kind of a fun thing. I'm not sure if that will rip. You know, it rips pretty good one way, but not the other. And I'm not sure what we've got going here, but we might luck out. Whew, we did. Okay, so then what would that look like? That's nice. I don't know. Just going with the flow here. <laughs> I think we've had a um, substitute mailman because he comes and then we hear his truck again. I think he's like, oh, forgot to take, give those people that. <laughs> That's gotta be hard when you don't know the route. Okay. Um. Now what? <laughs> Got some little music. Copyright 1874. What did I do with my, oh, I put it over here. Sorry if that was glaring. I know I did that one time. I tried not to do it again, but, you know, might be kind of nice to tone it down just a little bit. I don't know. I'm just playing. See what happens. I'm going to bring it kind of down to that embossing to kind of highlight that a little bit. Okay. Maybe a bird. Let's see. There's something. Well, he's just odd, but... Yeah. That wouldn't be bad, but I don't want that color. So I need a different birdie pointed that way. What about you, dude? You're kind of cute. I need him to be able to stand on something, though. Um, it's a grin. I grab. What if we... I put that on there. Don't want him to be. Hmm. 
Mm. I like that better. Okay. Well, cool. Okay, I'm hungry and it's not even close to dinner. I, I worked up an appetite, didn't I? Picking those darn needles. Oh boy. I think I have two more days of it. Because those darn things are everywhere. Okay, so I want you to be right about there, okay? Now I can't remember where I had it. Oh, maybe I had that right there. That's where it was. Okay. I had a landmark, but then I couldn't remember what it was. None wrong with me, folks. <laughs> uh, you know that's not true. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mr. Birdie. You just go right about there. Look, his tail is curved so the embossing still shows. Didn't get your beak very good, dude, did I? Maybe it's because it's on the rice paper. I don't know. I wonder if we need a word across there. I kind of feel like maybe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab um, this is Pink Monarch Prince. Beauty and everything. Just a little too long. Like a, in between. <laughs> be the good. Be the good. Let's be the good. What the world needs now is good, kind people. Okay, then we'll take a look at everything we did. How about, because I think, yeah, we're about there. Be the good. Let's kind of break that up a little. So there we go. And that one, there's nothing on this side. I think I'm going to just give it some distress ink and leave it so that it can be written on or something. This is going to be a clipper in or two. Okay. Well, we got, we only had three that we didn't get to. They go back in the bucket. Okay, let's take a look, see, to see what we got done. Oof. Oh, I have to stand up for this. <laughs> so that's the one that's going to flap over the page. <laughs> and we have Christmas that we're going to paper clip in because can you see the 1925 right there? Merry Christmas and good health. And that's the Easter seals, I think, symbol. Then there's this one. And I really like this one. This one, I think that turned out cute. And it's a pocket on this side, too. And then we have our piece that is going to go around the page somehow. <laughs> it's either going to be a, this is going to be a pocket and this is going to flip out. That's, I think, what we decided. Okay. 
So we got, what, five pieces done, but I kind of know what's in there now. And now I just need to find a spot to put this little basket a little bit closer to where I work. So I'm not sure where that's going to be, but we'll see. <laughs> so thanks everybody so much for crafting with me today. I appreciate you all so much. Um, I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.